Hey guys, I am back for part two of, who is this? Scorpio and Aquarius, back to part two. Back, I'm back for part two, whatever. <laughs> All right, so I'm here, I got some cards. Uh, just want to finish up on the crime part. I do, I want to focus on the crime part. I see that there are some attempts here when it comes to crime, and I am speaking about, for those of you who did not catch part one, this is the Scorpio and Sagittarius relationship. On video one, I went over a lot of what the expectation was of the person in the middle here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and how they have these issues that come across as commitment issues, come across as commitment issues, confusion, I don't know what I want, and until I figure out what I want, I'm going to make sure there's an interruption had between Scorpio and also Aquarius, right? I get this feeling that this person here, this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they have some vested interest, okay? It could be romantic. I feel like it is. It says that they, and let me just pull this. This energy here was the focus on the last read, reality, clarity, shattered dreams. This person is, they're imbalanced. They don't know what they want. And until they figure it out, they want everybody's life to be on hold. Nobody's moving forward until this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius figures out what they want. That's what it is. Their world. Nobody else's. As long as you know that, that's the vibe that I'm getting. All right. So let's move on. Now, okay, we went over the Two of Swords piece of it. Um, there's something here with frustration and decisions. There's somebody here. There's an indication that there's a sacrifice that had to be made. All right, the, somebody, I will tell you this. If we want to look at crime, there's a possibility if somebody didn't get their first target, they're going back to get their second target. In some cases, I feel like there's a Pisces out there that could be considered a sacrifice. So if you didn't get your first target, they're lining somebody else up, whatever that's about. That's what I feel. I also see there's something here with a Gemini or a Virgo. Okay, and that came up last time too. This person is a con man. All right. So when we were there before, we said, what does this Aries Leo Sagittarius want for their Scorpio? We want you to have a con man. We want to make sure we have somebody that tricks you. There's this all this continuous plan and of how to stall or come up with some focused plan to keep Scorpio and this energy of having to stand up for themselves, posing them, always placing them or posing, whatever you want to say, placing them or posing them in difficult situations where they have to fight. They have to stand up for what they believe. All right. It's always challenges. It's always a situation where it requires lots of determination, right? So lots of determination, meaning it's not necessarily easy to get over these hurdles, but I got to get over them. So they don't make things easy for Scorpio. And that is the intention of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. Looks like selfish intent. All right. We also have the hangman. Um, okay. So the hangman did come up. There's some indication of treason, high crime, but also a misdemeanor, right? So it can go from treason, which is a high crime, telling on your country, betraying your country, betraying your company, whatever. Betraying a friendship, but really when we look at this legally, it's about treason, high, tr high crime. All right. And it also it has some indication that there's a Pisces out there that could have a misdemeanor or somebody committed treason, which is a high crime. Is there anything else here? Yep. We have the moon reversed here. The moon reverse symbolizes that we're dealing with somebody here. Where's the moon reverse? There's this, this energy that comes up. I don't know who this is. The cards are saying Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. The cards suggest Gemini with the lovers. And it says that something could be hitting. Somebody's releasing some kind of fear. Somebody's going to say something, make a decision about something. If it has to do with crime, you're dealing with somebody who is not mentally competent. This person could have mental issues of some sort. Let me just pull this up for you. This person could have some kind of mental issues of some sort. They could have schizophrenia. There's something about paranoia. You have a Pisces out there that's feeling paranoid, perhaps. All right. This isn't trying to regain composure, but there's still some, there's lots of self-deception. There are things that they aren't admitting. In some cases, you do have some Pisces out there tricking somebody and blocking the truth. They don't want this Aquarius to know what the truth is about a situation. But Aries Leo Sagittarius is like, they don't want you to know, but I'm going to tell you like that. Right. And then the other energy towards the Scorpio is like, yeah, I'm going to just keep you stuck. You know, I'm probably a false leader. I'm going to manipulate the situation, right? Because the thing is, it says magician here. And when it's reversed, you already know what that is. But this is some manipulation using magic. I'm going to still say 
that there's a possibility that somebody said presto or concocted something because we have the high priestess reversed. The actual definition of it, manipulation, cunning, trickery, wasted talent, illusion, and deception. Underneath that is a magician. So this person could be attempting to manipulate you, attempting, using magic or focused creativity, which is them giving birth to some sort of plan to keep you standing up for your beliefs. That means that they're going to keep you in a situation where you constantly have to fight. Like this one said, I was drunk over there. I was at the house. So they're going to keep you in these situations where you have to constantly defend yourself. And that's what this person's intent is. All right. So we have that. Let me just make sure there's no other crime. All right. So the moon reversed failure of nerve. Just for more. All right. So we had the high priestess over there to move. Yep. Deception. You, uh, this person. Something about examining the people around you. I don't want you to examine the people around you. I want to keep you blind. Aries Leo Sagittarius wants to keep a Pisces blind. I want to keep you blind. I don't want you to know that I'm about to tell Aquarius that you're possibly knocked up or something like that, right? There's something about a reputation here, the Empress reverse next to the moon reverse. So this is a mistress that could be hidden. Somebody's got a lover. This person could be a younger sibling, as I said in the other read. So let's go on. We see that piece of crime there. We see the sacrifice. We already went over that piece. Moon reverse. We went over that. Frustration. Yup. Lovers. Some kind of conflict. Existing conflict. Uh, yeah, there's some kind of existing conflict with a Gemini. Because I asked the question, what does this, what is the beef between this Aries Leo Sagittarius energy and the Gemini? Something with growth and opportunities is what they want for the Gemini. They want a Gemini. They want this person either wants the Aquarius or they want the Gemini. This person seems to want everybody. I don't know what this is, but whatever. You figure it out. You tell me. Let's take a look at, see what's going on with uh, crime here. Or let's get more. Give me some information here on these folks, these people coming up. Show me if this is crime. Show me Scorpio. Show me Scorpio, please. Show me Scorpio. Partner with the, the 666 Ranch. I don't know. I don't know what that is. I really don't. I don't know what that is. I don't know what the 666 Ranch is. I guess it'll, I'll figure it out. Something with Scorpio. Partner with the 666 Ranch. I don't know if you meant to partner with somebody. If this is a crime, you partner with the 666 Ranch. Give me more. I'm going to get some more because I only pulled a few of these. I have tons of them. Hold on. These, this has a lot of them. I want to just because I want to mix it up. Right? And then I have the reader. I think I got this part right. So it's going to tell us what the good, the good or the bad or whoever. Um, crime. Show me under partner with the 666 Ranch. What more do you have to say about this Scorpio to help us understand in terms of crime what this could be? Mend the land fence. Now, this did come out reverse. Maybe you guys actually need to mend the land, the land fence. If this is crime, this person failed to mend the land ranch. I don't know what that means. It was some, some kind of task that they did not complete. It was supposed to do something. Give me more, please. Partner with so-and-so. I need you to mend something. You refuse to fix it, Scorpio. It says here, if this is a crime, it's because you refuse to fix something, acknowledge something. Give me more. Leave a threatening voicemail. If this is a crime, maybe you left a threatening voicemail. So, partner with the 666 crew. You failed to mend something. It says one of the solutions is to leave a th threatening voicemail. But this is crime. So, something having to do with mending something and somebody left a violent voicemail or a threatening voicemail. Tell them... If this is a crime, it's something you tell them. Maybe this is a message. The threat. Oh, okay, I get it. So, Scorpio, it looks like you may have left a nasty message, or this might be a crime. <laughs> Leave a threatening voicemail. Tell them, cowboy, cowboy on up. 
Okay. So Scorpio's partnering with somebody. And there's something about not landing a fence. Something about leave a threatening voicemail. Let me move this up here. That's so annoying. Oh my goodness. And then it goes on to say, you tell him the cowboy up. So this is Scorpio takes and taking some kind of stance on something. This could be them taking a stance. I don't know. This is legal, so I have no idea. But I know somebody came up with a plan with the high priestess reversed. And then they decided to do presto. And then they kept Scorpio in this energy. This energy does display to me as, what am I going to do to fight this energy? Scorpio is surrounded by, I have to fight, right? This is standing your ground here, so Scorpio had to. Partner with the 666 Ranch. I got to partner with whoever. I failed to do something or something didn't happen. Something didn't happen or they're trying to do this. So I have to partner with this one in order to mend something that is broken. Leaving a threatening voicemail and telling him you better get on it. I guess. Cowboy up. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. What else do we have here? Give me... um. If this is crime, give me something on Aquarius, please. Give me Aquarius if this is crime. Okay, these other characters. I'll pull those in a sec. Crime. Interrogate. And there could have been an illegal ter interrogation or maybe there's a need to interrogate. Somebody failed to interrogate something. I get somebody failed to interrogate something or somebody this is an illegal interrogation. Illegal interrogation. Interrogation. Give me more, please. For Aquarius. Okay, we still got more. Patrol Ranch Parameter. Inter uh, interrogate the patrol. Interrogate. Patrol the ranch parameter. Okay, you guys need to check something out about the parameters on a ranch. Something about an open area. It looks like it's about to turn dark outside. Some of these display as if the grass is greener. Um, this card is print. Th these cards are printed the same way, but in the light, it gives me different information. I see there's a contrast here. Where there's some situation that could have happened towards night. And some kind of action is taken. It interrogates, patrol the ranch parameter. There's some kind of notice came out or warning about interrogation from an Aquarius. Or a need for you to interrogate something. I don't know. Hold on, we got another one that came out. A crisis card came out. I'm going to take it just because of what it says. As, and this is usually going to tell us about the person, which I don't want to pull this. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep this one here because it's important. I'm going to keep it there and I'll pull it in a second. But give me one more card, please, so I understand what's going on here. Call the media. All right, so there's an interrogation which did not go well or needs to happen. There's also a need to patrol the ranch parameter. There's something about calling the media. Somebody needs to call the media, or if this is a crime, somebody called the media, or somebody needs to. Give me one more. I've been getting these reads. You guys probably need to contact reporters for certain situations, something about interrogation. I do encourage you just on a separate note to make sure that if you have anything that you see treated unfairly, patterns that you notice, report them. The stories need to be told. That's how we collect information, collect data, and get to the core of the issue, right? That's... Any business, I would think, but you know, people do business different these days. Give me one more. All right. Hire paroled inmates and turn them into wranglers. Call the media. All right. Hire paroled inmates, turn them into wranglers. Okay. So we have interrogation. We have patrol the ranch pyramid. I've been getting this message for months. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'll tell you what it means. Call the media. Hire paroled inmates. There's a call. Man, I've been getting this for months. I was like, I didn't know. I don't want to say months. I would say about the last, about the last month, this last couple of months. I've been getting something. I really, I didn't know when to say it. So I guess it needs to be said now. There's something coming up where what we see is inmates now, right? There's going to be other measures taken in terms of how they are treated, if that makes any sense. 
Some people are going to be given chances, hire parole inmates and turn them into wranglers. Some of these folks here who were inmates are going to have these skills that they can bring to the outside world. They're real, they're tangible. They're not just go wait in the line, talk to the officer, you know, I apply for this job. You're going to have some real skills. If you look deeper at it, this means that there's another initiative that is going to be taken for what is an inmate. Inmates are going to have Let's put it this way. Inmates who have served their time. Inmates who come out early are going to have these abilities to become wranglers of land. So you're going to learn some skills. It can be a door to the outside. I don't know if you'll necessarily like the work in some cases, but the goal is for you to become an owner. That's my take on it. Another very different perspective of this and I hate to say it, oh my goodness. There's going to be some cases where there are militaries and armies who are going to take a look at the folks who are inmates. You came in here for this. You're very good at that. So my point is, you're going to be placed in different places. It could be army. There could be plans for people who are paroled to serve in the army to make up their time. You're going to gain skills in it. We're going to repurpose what it is to be an inmate. The definition of what an inmate is and the stigma attached to it is going to change. No longer. I, I served my time. I'm now a landowner. I did also this prestige or pride put back into something that was demolished. In lots of cases, it wasn't your fault. So I feel that there are some attempts to correct wrongs, but also utilize the people that we have here already who maybe made a mistake and they're coming out. But in some cases, they're going to hire a proposed inmate because this land is going to become yours because you are wrongly incarcerated. There's going to be some kind of reward. The most that I get from it, though, is we're going to reface what it is to be an inmate. Skills will be gained once you get out. And there's no shame behind it. It's almost like if you're an inmate right now, it's very hard to find a job. If you're an inmate in the service, guaranteed money, guaranteed skills, it's going to be dressed up in that package whether you agree with it or not. But it will be an option. Those options will differ based on what you went in for. Was I lied on? Is this compensation also with skills? You're going to see a big revamp of that. Do I stamp that? Necessary, absolutely. And I didn't even mean for that to come. I've been seeing it. In this case, I see it as what it is, but I have been getting the same message that there's some repurpose of what we call inmates. It needs to change. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and let me just see if these folks are good or not. We got one. Let me pull another crisis card. Hold up. Show me if this is a good or bad one, please. This one comes out. Give good or bad one. All right. We'll see. Don't take this for whatever, whatever. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Over here is the Scorpio energy, and this is also the energy that Aries Leo Sagittarius is wishing on Scorpio, right? I don't know how this could be a good person, but in some cases, people do stuff to keep you away from, uh, you know, crazy people. I mean, you don't understand what the blessing is about, but you see it in the long run. I'm getting that, so. Really? Hold on. Goodness, why I always got the dud one? Hold on. This is a dud. Hold on, guys. I'm trying to see if this person's good or not. This is so annoying. Okay, that one is done. That's not happening. And do I even have another one here? Hold on, guys. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try my best with it. All right. You know, this one is annoying, too. Oh, my goodness. That's so annoying. Sorry. Really? Maybe I'm okay. I'll pull them after. These they won't let me pull. I don't know why. Let me get right into the crime then. All right. If this is crime, if this is crime for Scorpio, so we see Scorpio has um, been in, put in a position where they have to fight back by partner with whoever. Uh, Scorpio had to leave somebody a worded voicemail telling them what it is and that they better cowboy on up or whatever they're saying. If I know Scorpio, I, I can assure you the words weren't pretty. 
not all of us, but anyway, let's take a look and see what's going on with crime. If this is Scorpio, show me crime. Show me crime under Scorpio, please. Scorpio, crime. Crimes against humanity. Now, if if this is crime, you could be have you could be up against a Scorpio who committed a crime against humanity or one that fights against it. Give me more, please. If this is crime, Scorpio. Climate change. So, there's something with climate change. A denial of climate change. Somebody's fighting about climate change. Denying climate change. Give me more. Somebody sold their soul out. And that's with the magician card. Or it could be a Gemini, a Pisces, or... A Virgo that sold their soul out, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, something about selling their soul out, or Scorpio, you sold your soul out for climate change and something with crimes against humanity. Give me one more. I also feel like somebody could have been intoxicated or chemically enhanced. Let me just take these for what they are. Somebody got drunk or something or did drugs. They sold their soul, something about climate change, a denial of climate change. Crimes against humanity. Whatever that means to you. Intoxication. Uh, I feel like somebody got... Somebody may have gotten drunk or something like that and sold their soul. and do They don't know if they told information about climate change or crimes against humanity. I don't know if this is a memory thing. I don't know. Because remember, uh, there's a person that comes up here. Somebody got a secret on somebody. There's, there's a secret that somebody... Uh, Somebody hooked up with a 15-year-old. It says here that Aries Leo Sagittarius has a secret that maybe Aquarius hooked up with somebody who was younger. It says in the text, 15, a 15-year-old. 15 Go back and listen to part one of this. That information is all there. It's extremely detailed. Just so you understand the context of it. All right, so we have a character here like that. Give me crime, please. If this is a crime for Aquarius, what do we have? Oh. We have evidence. There's some kind of evidence. There's delays. Evidence delays. Give me more. And a flight risk. Okay, there's some kind of evidence against people. There's something probably like three people. There's some kind of delays here. I don't know. I feel like there's delays in flights. Delays to the moon. Delays to the moon. Delays in flights. Something about evidence. Some evidence is causing delays. And somebody can't take a flight. There's a flight risk. Somebody could be a flight risk, and because of delays, you can't really pin them down as being a flight risk until some paperwork comes back. Crypto something, analogy, some, I don't know if this is a Bigfoot or a Sasquatch, whatever that's about. Somebody's trying, all right. If you're one of those people that believe the aliens are coming or whatever, you might be waiting, <laughs> you might be, there might be delays with your spaceship getting over to uh, Mars or wherever you're going. <laughs> that was a joke. But really, you got some people... Whatever. They're hiding it. Look at the moon card. I'm not telling anybody that Sasquatch is real. <laughs> I'm getting the heck out of here. I'm just waiting for the... Oh, it says evidence. Somebody got some evidence on something that's causing delays with the flight. If you guys handed your documents over to somebody and they're taking too long to come back... That's why it's like a stall without saying, yeah, you can't go anywhere right now. It's just like, I'm going to hold you up. I'm just not going to put it in writing so you don't know your flight. I, I'm not giving you your passport because you might leave. What I am going to do, though, I know you applied for a copy of it, but I'm going to hold it for like 10 weeks. You're going to keep calling the office and say, where's my, where's my, where's my? Oh, it's being done. It's being done. It's a delay. There really is something that they're looking at. It's evidence. Something with your documents could be inaccurate, questionable, needing to be probed. Prophecy it did come out reversed here. Something about a prophecy. Somebody ain't believing something. They're rejecting a prophecy and they're doing whatever they want. Whatever that's about. Now this cra this person in the middle. <laughs> this crazy person. This person in the middle here, the Aries Leo Sagittarius, who might have some commitment issues, who is trying to stop Scorpio from being productive in a relationship with Aquarius they want Scorpio to know that there's some Pisces out there that got knocked up or is knocked up 
And it's just like, I just want you to know that. And it's like, okay, and right. But then you turn around and you have the same Aries Leo Sagittarius. So I'm getting a manipulative energy. Like they like to play both sides. I'm going to keep you here and I'm going to keep you there. So then this Aries Leo Sagittarius proceeds over here to Aquarius to say, yeah, guess what? You know, I know this and I know that. I'm going to cause delays because I kind of want you. I think I want you, but I'm not sure if I want this other one too. But just to throw you off, I want you to know, Aquarius, I want you to know that there's a Pisces out there that's knocked out. This Pisces that you were dealing with, they're hiding something. They could be pregnant by a Gemini. All types of... This one's got all the gossip, right? And they hold it in this blackmailer safe, which I mentioned on the other read. That is their crime. They're the blackmailer. This person realizes that it's not just finances, meaning money or anything else like that. No money... That can really cover certain parts of blackmail. Meaning, you there's no amount of money in the world that can do this or have this impact. Da, da, da. It's not worth it. It's more impactful if I open my mouth and say, guess what, Aquarius? That person that you're messing with, that Pisces, they da 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 they pregnant. And they was with the Gemini. And see, this one wants to be with the Gemini. And this one might also want to be with this Aquarius over here or ruin it. So they want all the control. This one wants it all. So that's the type of energy that you're coming up against. But then you have this other one here who this Scorpio shows up as a drop of Thames water. This person shows up as a blue collar person, doesn't have too much, you know, not, not rich, right? I go to work every day. I come home, I did da da, you know, my six pack or whatever you do. But this person has a secret lab where they go back and they do their actual work. And Sherlock Holmes realizes that this isn't necessarily a bad person. Right? But then we have the auctioneer with the lion. The lion is in the inventory. They don't know how it got there. The message, and I just want to recap, the message is Sherlock Holmes says to this auctioneer, well, if this inventory over here is not supposed to be here, it's miscounted for... And it suddenly showed up in a catalog. Why did you call me and not call the police? The response to that, again, evidence delays flight risk. We are not sure if we have a crime that's been committed. Did you ask all the workers? Yes, we did. They know nothing. But why didn't you ask the other people? Well, we don't want to bring too much attention to the patients. The patients will start to become alarmed. Sherlock Holmes is like, they don't sound right to me. Come to find out, Sherlock Holmes was in a room full of criminals and the folks in the background, the actual workers were locked up in a stock room somewhere. Literally, they in a stock freezer, locked up while the criminals took over waiting for Sherlock Holmes at the auction place. Sherlock Holmes said to him, why didn't he, the guards, why did, why would, that's what threw him off. The guards said nothing. That led him to believe that these people are false. These are a crew of people here with an intent. These are not the real people. This is why the evidence, the delays, the flight risks, you know, the prophecy interruptions, things like that. So we have that that comes up. And let me just pull a couple of the cards to make sure. Hold on. I mean, I don't really think I need to pull those cards. I think I see the characters well enough. I don't really. Okay, crime. One just came up. General crime, something about a humanoid. Again, I don't know what that is. Sounds like. Something with a noise after it. Human or, I don't know, some machine. You know, they got them dolls that you can marry or whatever. You can marry some lifestyle, a life-size doll. I believe they talk, I don't know. Listen, I, listen, whatever makes you happy, I, I don't have an opinion. I mean, I have a joke for it, but I don't have an opinion. <laughs> listen, whatever. That makes you smile and your bills are still paid by all means. If the blow-up doll talks back to you, by all means, you, know, you pull a string out her back, she can say I love you every five minutes, whatever you do, whatever makes you happy. Give me more for crying, please. Tell me what's going on with humanoid. All right. Staged. Something about a stage. Somebody's questioning whether or not the humanoid is staged. There's a hollow earth. Whatever that means. 
I think I did read about that. Don't don't quote me. I, I don't know. You guys, it's hollow earth. Give me more. We also have friend. There's somebody shaking a hand. A, st a friend staged a hollow earth humanoid. There's a friend who's a humanoid. Give me one more, please. A couple came out. I'm going to just shuffle them again because too many came out. There is a humanoid friend who... It's either a failed stage attempt or something is staged. Hollow Earth, a health risk. Uh, well, staged. There's a staged health risk or a questionable health risk. Something about chemtrails. You know, when the planes fly over and it becomes gray outside or whatever in certain parts and then it's sunny in other parts. Some sort of manipulation. The truth comes out. Somebody's trying to still hold the truth back about the earth. The health risks of the chemtrails. Somebody's trying something about a hollow earth. The truth is going to come out about the hollow earth, even though somebody's trying to hide it. That there are health risks by chemtrails, which are crimes against humanity. Something having to do with climate change. Somebody sold their soul because they were drunk. And something about a, something was staged. Or somebody's questioning whether or not something was staged. Somebody set something up. The Great Reset. Some people believe it's a setup. Some people believe in order to start the Great Reset, they had to stage something to get others buy-in. I have to set something up. By alcohol, chemicals, pills, whatever. You better do what I say. This is how the Great Reset is going to go. And if you don't do it, I'm going to tell about that 15-year-old that you had a relationship with back whenever. I want to be very clear. The text also goes on to say that the person, the Aquarius, did not know that this person was 15. It also mentions that this Aquarius could also be a little bit afraid because there's a misdemeanor or something. There are some Aquariuses who are going to have high crimes. This one, either there's a Pisces out there or there's an Aquarius that has a misdemeanor. Somebody's holding it over your head and they're saying, I'm going to hold it over your head until I get your buy-in so I can get this great reset to go the way I want it to go. I want my way and how I'm going to get it. hold that over your head that 15 year old I'm gonna hold that person over your head so you're gonna do what I want you to do oh look at that sirens oh that's actually perfect for this video Ooh. all right so I think that's all I have for you guys I am interested in seeing who this person is I know this was a really long video well the other one was it was like an hour or something I was miraculously cut off uh, by YouTube are we surprised by that? Also, if you guys have any complaints, I would hit those buttons on YouTube and start to complain. And you see any trends, like I said, report them. So we can have, you know, these cards keep telling us, why won't this thing work? The card, they keep telling us about the press. The press is there for a reason, right? To cover certain things. And you want to utilize your resources. If you guys are in a position where something is questionable or you you're wondering something you listen see what the reporters are writing ask them reporters love to hear what the public is thinking they want they they don't want to go well you gotta go outside and find a witness at lunch inbox them they love to hear it they're reporters and if you got some good stuff that builds a real case and you're working with somebody who has integrity those are the folks you want to work with. So do your research. Work with the reporters. Let's work together. Because we're going to need to. Wait. I, no, still. Wait, hold on. Let me see if it works. Hold up. I want to see something. Uh-oh. All right. Now it's like shady looking. Hold on. Let me see what this one is. Oh, Governor John Dutton does not trust this staff member. Ooh. Okay. This is... For Scorpio, somebody in this read Governor John. Hold on. 
Governor John Dutton does not trust this staff member. Yeah. All right. The governor over here, Governor John, somebody doesn't trust this Scorpio staff member or they don't trust this, uh, this energy, something they don't trust somebody over here. They couldn't date. It might be the Pisces. They don't trust. They might not trust the Gemini, the Virgo, the Aries Leo, or the Sag because it comes up up there too. Uh, the governor don't like you. <laughs> Let's see what else comes up. Let's see what else comes up. Another one came up. The governor doesn't like this staff. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. The governor could also have a problem with the Capricorn Taurus Virgo. I don't want to leave those out. I had those on the other video too. All right. Uh, let's see who the next one is. If this person is good or bad. This person. Who is this? Let me see something. I'm trying to see it. These are weird. They need a better. Sorry guys. Hold up. I can't see it. Wait, maybe this is how it goes. Hold on, let me see. The body. Wait a minute. It says the body. The body case burned is discovered by. The bot. There's a body case that got discovered by somebody. Hold on, a body case got discovered. Okay, the body case burned. Okay, the body case buried is discovered by the workman. Okay, there was something that was discovered. The body, the body case, there was a body case that was discovered by a workman. A body case, a workman. Somebody who was a worker discovered something. Whatever that's about. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody discovered, maybe somebody... Being in love with somebody else or something like that. Give me this last one for Aquarius. A message. I think it's, oh, let me see. A wrangler who knows the Dutton's secrets wants to leave. Okay. A wrangler who knows the Dutton secrets, they want to leave the ranch. Somebody's trying to get off the ranch of the Duttons. Because they, they know the secret. Aquarius knows the secret of the Duttons. And they're trying to get the heck out of Dodge. Did that show up? Yeah. She yeah. can message. A wrangler who knows the Dutton secrets wants to leave the ranch. Ooh, that's that one. Wait, hold on. Let me. Make, I wonder if you guys can see this one better. All right, here's this one. The body case buried is discovered by workmen. And Scorpio, just so you guys can actually. Oh shoot! Just so you guys can actually see the message. Hold up. Nope, we got that one. Huh? This is the first one that I was reading. Governor John Dutton does not like. His staff members. Oh, I thought that was just one staff member. Apparently, he don't like none of y'all. Hold on. Let's see. Governor John Dutton does not trust. Okay, trust. I thought it was, does not trust his staff members. Mm. There's a governor that doesn't trust his staff members over here because he thinks they're doing something shady. That falls under Scorpio. Whatever that means to you. Let me just pull one more. Yep, something about election interference. This is reversed. I feel like this is a thing, one of those things where we want to make sure that doesn't happen. So that is a concern. Gaslighting, somebody trying to stop the vote. Government agency involved. A rope. Ooh. Inside job. Somebody at a, at a government agency, there's a rope here. Inside job in trauma. Somebody got some kind of trauma from a government job who is an environmental hazard. I would look out for somebody here who could works for a government agency. There's a rope here. So you, you, you want to be careful with that. Look out for those folks. I also want to just make sure that you guys also keep an eye on citizens who cannot move wheelchairs. Make sure when you guys are outside, and this is for law officers, anybody, 
you have deaf people. So if you could kindly look for those signs, let's be considerate about that. All of us. If somebody comes up to you and it, their voice sounds a little, it's not always crazy. Sometimes you're deaf. You know, so we want to look for those things. As a matter of fact, let me just see if there's any messages here. Any messages here? Just a firefighter. There's something about a firefighter. Let's just see what comes out. It, if you see this, they're looking for a firefighter. So we all learned something about a firefighter. There's something about a train. Ooh, a firefighter, a train. People, people and vehicles and transportation, a firefighter, a train. Somebody's got sad feelings. Somebody, a firefighter, a train, sad. Hold up. Give me more. What does this mean? Old. There's a sad old person who's a firefighter who's good. They're sad. They're old. They're good. What's the rest? That shop. Where did I shop? What? Hold up. They shop with their left palm up. Something about church. They shop at church. There's an old person who's good. They shop at church. Something about church. Beautiful. Beautiful when black telephone. Hold up. At, okay. Something about colors and being at home. Church and at home, the telephone. An old person, church, at home, telephone. Colors, orange. Ooh, okay. One more. Squeezing. There's something about them squeezing. Right, correct. Students. Hold on. Give me more. At home, at school, at a restaurant, places, a movie. Something about a movie, a dentist. Hold on. Animals, a bird. Messages are going to be coming through. You guys might get... You guys might get a person who is, they, they're deaf, and they might be trying to say something to you. I would be very careful. They have a message for you, and they're going to use their hands, so don't think that they're, you know what I mean? All right. I think that's all I have. Vehicles, keep in mind, people, vehicles, transportations, their feelings, their places that they shop, their home, people, colors. Somebody old who shops. Something about a movie. The color orange. Whatever that means to you. Hmm. Vehicles and transportation. All right, guys, listen. I want you guys to... There's something about vehicles, transportation, firefighters, law enforcement, churches... Old people, look out for them. Firefighters, look out for these people. You're going to see people sad. This is going to happen while people are shopping or something like that. Messages are coming in. A dentist, restaurant, restaurants, students. Look out for that stuff. Just keep it in mind. That's all I have for you guys on the crime and awareness. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Please. I love you guys. I will see you soon.